A new school year is just beginning for a lot of students and teachers in Maine, but the fight for more pay is a persistent challenge for many school support staff who say they just want to be paid equitably for the work they do. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Amanda Hill and I'm Brian Nicono. The Union for Educational Technicians in the Portland Public School District has been negotiating with the school board for months now, seeking a new union contract after their last one expired within the past week. Last night, members of the union spoke at the school board meeting, saying they hope the contract negotiations end soon. New Center Maine's Sam Olson has the details. Time and time again, I've stood here and been told that we're valued members of the Portland public school community. But Jen Cooper argues starting a new school year without a contract is contradicting. Cooper is the president of the Portland Education Association for Educational Technicians. I just wish that I only had one job instead of the four. Cooper says the union is bargaining for livable wages and a significant increase to the ed tech salary scale. The latest contract between the school district and the union shows the starting wages for any ed tech position falls significantly below $20 per hour. An ed tech with 10 years of experience is still just making anywhere from about $20 per hour to almost 23 and three quarters. I've been begging people to stay long enough to work, see this contract come through, but I'm losing the fight because they're seeing others willing to pay more. We are really trying to balance um, moving all of our staff to having a livable wage with comprehensive good benefits and uh, increasing the tax rate. Portland's Board of Education Chair Sarah Lentz says the board tries to balance the need for more livable wages while also getting pressures from the community about increasing taxes. And I mean, $16 an hour um, is important to, to, to get up for sure. The Maine School Management Association's Executive Director Steve Bailey says having ed techs in schools now is as important as ever in a post-pandemic school setting. The amount of time that uh, students spent outside of school and outside of learning to do school uh, has has impacted their ability to, to function, you know, within the classroom. The union will continue to work under the expired contract until a new one is agreed on. Lentz says she's hopeful a new contract will be finalized soon. In Portland, Sam Olson, New Center, Maine.